Hello, hello, Edmund. I'm gonna go straight to the point. Comet Race and Keyboard is very, very, very fun to play in Dimension Variable. It's very important, that's why I'm gonna say it three times. Comet Race and Keyboard is very, very, very fun to play in Dimension Variable. For the build, let me show you what to pick. For Exclusive Memory Treasures, which is the most important one, pick Atlas Man Figure, Marksman's Tutorial, and Psychology Book. If I were to rank it, I will select Psychology Book first because the precision bombing is so damn spammable that it deals so much damage. Secondly, I will pick Atlas Man Figure because her skill tree allows you to shoot additional light beams during the attack and you are immune to damage during skill casting. How OP is that? Lastly, it's Marksman's Tutorial. This will be more fun because as you can see, it triggers every 3 seconds and it can be triggered by teammates. So if you're playing Dimension Variable with teammates instead of solo, pick this one because there will be so many drones that will help you to attack and boost up your damage. Alright, for Cosmic Mysteries, you can see what are the options that I have. My favourite is Multicolor Incense because it helps you to draw enemies together so that when you spam your drone strike, you spam your precision bombing, they are all being grouped together and you can clear way faster, right? Souvenir Coin is also very useful because it helps you restore your combat resources every time they're expanded and it's triggered every 8 seconds so this will make sure that you can spam your skills from the beginning of every battle until the very end, right? So this Gilded Belt improves your damage, Treasure Tablet is also the same. Art and Aesthetics my favorite is Art Certificate because you can enter zero time when casting an ultimate skills. This improves your damage, your damage, your damage when you're casting your ultimate skills, right? As you can see. Five books of Madoyama. All right. My, if we are to play Comet Ray, uh, my favorite is always... Where is it? Um, skill Charge. Madoy Madoyama Festival Fan grants skill charge when a skill or ultimate skill hits. It triggers every 6 seconds so that you can your cooldown for your skills is recovered way faster and you can spam it. Daytime Darkness is also the same. It shortens your remaining ultimate skill cooldown so that you can get to spam your ultimate skills way faster and way fre more frequent. Okay? Basic needs, as you can see, Tombstone Fragment also grants ultimate skill charge so that you can spam your skills. Overexposed Photography, this increases your damage and the last one is also increasing your damage, right? So that's about it. Let's see how good Comet Ray Zenkibo is when it comes to the final boss of Dimension Variable. Let's go!
This Catch isn't it. over yet. Hermit Ray is fully charged. Don't resist. For the very, very, very third and last time, Comet Ray Zenkibo is very, very, very fun to play in Dimension Variable. I thought I was gonna die at the very last part, but you know, third skill pulsating cannon was the saving grace. I was immune to Athena's attack most of the time. If you like this video, you know what to do. See you in the next one.